What's up guys and welcome to the Husky House. Today's video will be going over the pros and cons of what it's like to have a second dog in the family. As you guys know by now, we have three Huskies. And that might sound like a lot to handle, but that leads me into pro number one. It's actually not a lot to handle. Back when we only had one dog, we felt really guilty if we couldn't give him the attention that he needed or the exercise that he needed. So when we got our second dog, it was a huge weight lifted off of our chests. We work from home, so whenever we're busy, they have not only their toys to rely on, but each other as well, which is a plus. If you have kids to take care of, or you just have a busier lifestyle, getting a second dog might be a great option for you. It's important that a dog gets a ton of exercise and mental stimulation, and having a best friend around will accomplish that. Pro number two, if your dog gets bored easily or has separation anxiety, introducing him to a new brother or sister could help. When we got Breezy, he had a really bad separation anxiety. We felt so guilty when we had to leave the house. But after he warmed up to Zion, which did not take long, they became inseparable. It was at this point where we could leave knowing he would be comfortable and have his new best friend with him at all times. If your dog's separation anxiety is aimed towards you specifically, this might be a longer process. But dogs love to be in packs, and they like to play with someone that plays like them and looks like them. Pro number three, and this one might sound a little bizarre, but your number one dog could help train your number two dog. It's like siblings. The younger one always wants to do what the older one does. So when you bring your new puppy home and it's following around your other dog, it might pick up on some tips and tricks, like where to go potty and what not to chew on. It will also help teaching your puppy tricks. If you're telling your older dog to sit, stay, lay, speak, whatever it might be, having your older dog do it first to be an example and to show them how to do it and what that word means can make training a lot easier. For example, when we were trying to teach Breezy to sit, he wasn't quite getting it. So when we asked Zion to sit and he saw that he planted his floofy booty on the ground, Breezy planted his floofy booty on the ground. A lot of what Brizzy knows came from Zion being an example. It's also a great way to socialize your puppy at a young age and learn the ins and outs of how to play nice and not be aggressive. I could talk about pros forever, but there are some downsides to having more than one dog. So con number one. The cost of having one dog will easily double once you get a second. Getting a second dog means more dog food, an extra vet appointment, and a higher cost if you will be taking both of them to a daycare or boarding facility regularly. This can be really expensive at times, so if cost is your number one reason to not get a second dog, I don't blame you. Con number two, individual time. It can sometimes be hard, but it's important to spend quality time with each dog individually. This hasn't happened to us, but I've heard tons of stories where the older dog gets jealous of a new and exciting puppy that's getting all of the attention. A few ways we do this is to take them on separate walks and a long time training session to spoil them with treats and to separately play with him or her and their favorite toys. By doing this, it can also help better both dogs' friendships and knowing they are equally loved and have no reason to be sad or upset. Con number three, adventures might be more hard. We love to travel and be active, especially since we have Huskies. And if you do too, having the responsibility of another dog can make hiking, biking, running, traveling, and everyday activities more difficult. We haven't put ourselves in a situation where we can't take all three dogs, and because of that, we can't do some of the activities we love. It's important to know that having more than one dog could put a damper on your adventure-seeking thrills, but will open up new doors to fun, dog-friendly adventures as well. Overall, having more than one dog could be a positive or a negative depending on your situation. It has been a positive for us and helped us tremendously, especially since we have high-energy dogs. If you're ready to take on a second dog, I say go for it.